Thank you so much, Mr. Chairman. You know, I, I have to say that I was really encouraged in this first meeting of our new committee uh, by your opening remarks, Mr. Chairman, and also the opening remarks from the ranking member. I really thought that maybe this time, that this cycle, we would begin really being serious about the critical work that this committee has to do. I thought perhaps without the obstructor in chief um, in office that maybe we, we really put this work first and the American people, but sadly today, I have to acknowledge that I was wrong. Uh, I love the Pledge of Allegiance. See, it really means something to me when I listen to the words about my upbringing and all in the South and the obstacles and challenges. When I hear words like one nation, that means something to me. When I hear words like justice for all, not just some, not just for the privileged few, but justice for all. Believe me, those words mean everything uh, to me. They're beautiful, but words only come to life when we put them into practice. My husband likes to say, you can make your mouth say anything. And boy, in my two terms, now my third term in Congress, boy, that's certainly the truth. But while we are playing political games, there are people in this country who are suffering. And today we are having this debate. Words mean nothing without action. Faith without works is dead. We also, uh, Mr. Chairman, as you know, we all took an oath. I've taken five now. I took them all very seriously to protect and defend the Constitution against all enemies, foreign and Domestic, But on January 6th, we were trying to fulfill our constitutional duties and watch the peaceful transfer of power. People in this room who are now fighting so hard that we stand up and say the pledge voted to overturn a free and fair election. Same people in this room when there was a breach at the U.S. Capitol, the most sacred, iconic building of what a democracy is supposed to look like, represent. When the breach was occurring at the Capitol and the Capitol Police were fighting for their very lives. We know one died. We've honored him this week. We need to continue to honor him. Others received great bodily harm. People who are now talking about the words that we say were silent and did nothing. Your oath means nothing if you don't practice what you preach. And for me and my place on this committee, I'd rather see a sermon every day than just simply hear one. And with that, Mr. Chairman, I yield back.